Hi again then guys, and so we've got another Gran Turismo 6 top speed tune for you today. And this time it's for a slightly different version of a car which I have of course done a top speed tune for before. The Lamborghini Murcielago LP640, but this is the chrome line version. It's slightly inferior to the normal version, it has slightly less power, it weighs a bit more, and the PP is slightly lower. The performance is quite similar. So it's, it's not a bad car as such, but it is to be noted that it is inferior to the normal model. Now this tune can also be used as an updated tune for the LP640 as well. It has more draft potential than my existing tune for it, which obviously I put out around a year ago. And it also handles better. So you want your racing soft tyres of course. For suspension we've got the ride height on 70 front and rear. Springs on 675 and 1075, dampers to 5, anti roll to 7, camber on 4, neutral toe as usual. For the gearbox, you want an auto setting of 249, then we've rounded off the gears to 4250, 2800, 2000, 1525, 1225, and 975. And sixth gear is a draft gear in this car with a final drive of 2. For the diff, you want the low initial torque, high acceleration and low braking, and most importantly to the handling of this car, you want the torque split on 50-50. All the power upgrades, of course, and although I haven't fitted it, I would of course recommend using NOS, and obviously you want the full weight loss package. Traction control is turned off, as always. And so, like I said, this car is, in terms of its sheer spec, slightly inferior to the normal LP640. It's got about two horsepower less, weighs around 30 or so kilos more, and has I think two or three pp lower. But the performance is very similar, like I said. Personally, for any of you guys who have come to the channel before, you'll probably already know that I'm not a fan of the Chrome Line cars or the Stealth models, because they're just not worth the money. However, of the Chrome Line models, this is probably the best one overall, because most of the other Chrome Line cars aren't quite as good as the other as the normal models. This version pretty much breaks even with the normal LP640 in terms of actual performance. So, strictly speaking, it's not a bad car, because although it's inferior on paper, the performance is very similar. I still wouldn't recommend buying it, because it's just not worth the money, because the normal version is faster. Plus, I think they look stupid with the chrome stripes, but obviously that's personal preference. Now, as I said, sixth gear on this updated tune is a draft gear. As you can see, we're running pretty close to the red line in fifth. Now, you can cruise at around 275 miles per hour in this one, which is similar to my existing tune, but the difference is... This one, as I said, has sixth gear to help you with draft. Now, I can't recall, because it was such an old tune, what my other one did in draft. But I seem to recall it wasn't as high as this one. Because with this car, once you change up into sixth, you can easily cruise around 307, 308 miles per hour in draft. So it's actually a much more competitive car than people give it credit for. Plus, having the torque split on 50-50 improves the handling immeasurably. As you can see, the LP640 chrome line, or the regular version, or pretty much all of the Lamborghinis in general, tend to be quite light on the front end at high speed. They tend to try and weave all over the road. If you put the torque split up to 50-50, it completely eliminates that, obviously combining that with a healthy amount of camber, and also not too many uh, adjustments in your steering. As you can see, it holds a straight line very well, it handles brilliantly compared to the normal version. There is one thing to be noted about this tune though. If you do plan to use it for top speed racing, and I would recommend it, I use it myself, it's a great underdog because people don't expect it to be as good as it is. But if you do choose to use it for high speed racing and high speed drafting, you do need to be careful of your entry speed into the corners on this track. Because if you enter the corner at say 310 miles per hour, you'll probably spin out. Because although it can take the corner very well at speeds of up to that, once you get up to that kind of speed, you kind of just suddenly lose the tail. Now you can increase the camber a bit more to counteract that, 
but I didn't want to make the handling too stiff. So as with all of my tunes, I would encourage you to mess around with it and find what's best for you. This is pretty much just the blank canvas for you to work from. This makes the car drivable enough to win with, and as I said, I've used it myself. I actually use the car a lot more now. I've always wanted to, because the LP640 is my favourite Lamborghini on the game, but it's never been good enough. Now with this tune it is, so if you decide to use the tune, obviously I hope you find it helpful and I know it's competitive. And if you're new to the channel or just found this helpful in general, feel free to subscribe. I put out new top speed tunes like this every day. And as always, thanks for watching.